Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Called Wild and we're going to be continuing the series of getting a diamond with every single gun and this guy may not be a diamond but while trying to find a diamond mule deer I got this guy to spawn in so I figure we will start things off with him. This is actually a pretty big piebald mule deer so this is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and get lined up with the 4570 and hopefully we can get him down without too much issues. I do want to get him to stop. I don't have the 22 with me. I probably should go get it just because of the fact that it is hard to get things to stop without it. I ended up spooking them off but I think we've finally caught up to them. I at least see one of them and I'm guessing the rest are very close so let's kind of just watch this road right here and see if they all cross over. Because if one's crossing the rest probably will follow. That typically is how the herds act in this game so We'll keep our eyes peeled and hope we can see him crossing here. I have officially spotted every single deer in that herd except for the one that we're after and I actually don't know where he is. Uh, we're gonna have to do some more searching and in fact I might even just change the time because I don't think he is with these guys unfortunately so I guess we'll go do that. Well we reset the time and there he is 300 meters out. Luckily he was a little bit later than the rest of these mule deer because these ones all got spooked off by this mythical mountain lion so if we can we're gonna try and get a longer shot on this guy just so he doesn't get close to that mountain lion otherwise he's probably gonna spook off just like the others did which would be very unfortunate so once we get a view on him which we can see him now let's try to get him to stop that should be good right there uh, we're actually gonna use a different gun. We'll use the 30 out 6 for him just because I know it can have some good range. That should be a solid hit. I think that should be good. Although now I'm not so sure. That actually might have been vertebrae. Oh no. Might have held too high. Well it's unfortunate but it happens to us all from time to time. I believe we did end up messing this guy up because he's got a very low bleed rate and I'm almost certain we were too high. But it's not that big of a deal. I think we already have a decent sized piebald in the lodge but I do think this might have been a little bit bigger. Either way, still a cool trophy and it's going to look the same in the lodge regardless of what its score is but a lot, of, uh, a lot of you probably would expect me to edit something like this out but I feel like it's good to show everything including your mistakes so there we have it. A 236 spine shot piebald mule deer. Still a cool trophy. But let's go ahead and taxidermize it. Sucks that we screwed it up though. It was just barely high though. Just barely high. And I think the issue there was I was going off of what the rangefinder said and it was saying 310 so I held slightly high and it ended up being 279 meters instead so one of the biggest reasons why it's not always a good idea to just base it off of what the rangefinder says. Sometimes you gotta check the map to make sure it truly is that distance. Well, it's about time I find a diamond potential animal and this one right here I think is actually one of the guaranteed diamonds. I've been searching so hard in single player and couldn't find anything so I finally went to multiplayer and well we got ourselves a level 5 Sika deer just running across the lake. Let's go ahead and try to get him to stop moving. Because we do have to get pretty close for this one. We're on, I believe, the 4570. So we definitely need to get somewhat close for this guy. However, he's being really stubborn and running away. Hopefully we can get his attention with one of these. Uh, that should do the trick. That'll give us a little bit of time to run up closer. This guy is definitely my favorite rack for the Sika deer though. So I'm really happy that this is the one that we end up finding. Actually, now that I get a second look at him... He does have a little bit of kind of curl forward so it might not be the one that I love but it's definitely a nice looking one. Let's go ahead and zero to 150 and the next time that he stops we will take a shot. That should do the trick there. Honestly the 4570 is pretty overpowered for Sika deer but it is a usable gun on them so might as well take the shot with it. Of course, out of everything that we could have possibly got for our first diamond of this video, of course it would end up being a Sika. Because that seems to be the one diamond that always seems to come my way. I don't know why, but we have insane luck with Sika deer. 
and 90% of the ones that we get are from multiplayer, which makes it even crazier. Let's go ahead and claim this guy before we get kicked or something weird like that, and he is 207.30. That's a good secret here. It's a dark spotted fur variation, level 5. Not bad. And we absolutely smoked him. Double long shot. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might actually replace something in our lodge, so that's pretty cool too. We actually get to potentially remove one and put this guy there. We'll have to kind of look at what their scores are though and what fur variation we currently have in the lodge, and then we might decide to put this guy in the place of it. So I just spotted an absolutely massive feral goat and I believe this is the exact same horns that our mixed diamond had so I'm almost certain this guy is going to be a diamond so this might be the only time where I'm actually going to go out of the order of the list for uh, what weapons we're going to be using. So I went back and grabbed the 243 and now we're running over there to hopefully bag this guy. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I think this is going to be a diamond. It looks to be almost identical to the mixed one that we got except this guy is the white variation I think. There he is. What a giant feral goat. That one is looking really, really good. And the crazy thing is, we're still on the same server where we got that Diamond Sika with the 4570, so this server is a really good one. I feel like this guy just got the map as far as I've been able to tell, because he's only hunting over in the starting area, so I have a good feeling that we probably got ourselves an awesome multiplayer map here. With this being our second potential diamond, I might stick around here for a little bit longer and see if we can maybe check off some more guns. So we got him moving around here. Hopefully he'll give us a good shot. Got the 243, 0 to 150. This should be just about perfect. He's like 170 out roughly. If he gives us a broad broadside shot, then we'll definitely take it. Unfortunately, he is being a little bit stubborn. He's always turning just slightly too much. So I think we're going to try and move over this way a little bit further. Hopefully it'll give us a better angle on him. That is a much better angle. I think we'll actually be able to make this, so let's take the shot. That should have drilled a lung and maybe even liver or stomach, but he's definitely going down. So I have no doubt in my mind that we got vitals there. It's crazy to think that between our first and second diamond feral goat, we had over 20 trolls. And now that we got our second diamond, we've had, I think, well, three diamonds in the last four, if this guy makes it. So let's go ahead and grab him. It is a diamond, 209.40. And we don't have a white fur variation yet, so that makes it even more awesome. But as I was saying, this is the third diamond in the last four level 5 feral goats. And it took us over 20 trolls just to get our second one. But once we got that second one, it's been pretty much all diamonds since. Which is awesome. So we checked the 243 off the list, which means we're going to have to replace the 243's position on the list with whichever gun we don't use today, which I believe is the muzzle loader. So we'll just kind of swap those around. So next time, whenever we end up coming up to the 243 in the list, we'll just use the muzzle loader instead. But that is super awesome. I honestly couldn't be happier. It's about time our goat luck started turning around and our last few goat kills have been pretty awesome. So after getting trolled many, many times in multiplayer, I decided to come back to our Yukon and we've got ourselves a level 9 Grey Wolf right here. This will be a pretty good trophy to take down with the 30-06. Now I do want to get him to stop. It's been a little while since I've got a good sized Grey Wolf, so I definitely don't want to screw this up. And plus if we end up screwing it up, it's not going to count as a diamond, therefore we'd have to look for another one. But... I... He's fleeing? Interesting, I'm not actually sure why he's fleeing. Well then, that was unexpected. I'm actually extremely curious what even made them flee in the first place. I don't think I did anything that could have possibly scared them. So it's very strange. But it looks like he's finally stopped off in the distance, so... If he gives us a shot, we'll probably take it. I don't want to let this guy get too far away. So we've worked our way far enough left that we should be able to get a broadside shot once we get into an area where there's not too many limbs in our way. And this actually should be good if we can get up here further. And yeah, that should be perfect right there. Let's see if we can get this guy down. That should be good. Can't see any reason that that wouldn't be a vital hit. And it's definitely looking like it was vital. And you know, while we're here, we might as well take out this mythical also. 
just so we can get another one down for respawns. I do eventually want to get either a nice sized albino male or just a uh, diamond A white or red brown. So hopefully eventually we can get one of those to spawn in by taking out as many of these extras as we can. I have had so many trolls between the last diamond and this guy right here so I'm really hoping that he won't be a troll too. I think what I'm going to end up doing is making probably a couple montages or something of trolls and rares that we got during this search for a diamond with every gun. Actually I might even just make it its own series, just really separate videos of all the rares and uh, trolls that we got along this journey. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up, hopefully he'll actually be a diamond. And it is a diamond, 3750, or 3950, that's not a bad one. I believe 40 is max score, so this guy's halfway between minimum and max for diamond. Not too bad at all, we're gonna go ahead and taxidermize that guy. And I think we only need like one more male gray wolf to make a multi-mount, so that's gonna be really cool if we can get that done also by the end of this journey. That right there is an absolutely huge Roosevelt Elk. Look at the absolutely huge size of this guy. I can't believe that. I think this will easily be the biggest one I've ever found. Our previous best just hit 400 on the dot. This one has a minimum estimate of 406. This guy is absolutely huge. I definitely want to make sure that we get a good shot on him. I don't want to take any risk whatsoever. So we're going to try and get him as broadside as possible and preferably within 150. As far as I can tell, this guy is the one that has typically the thinner antlers, but it actually looks like his are a little bit thicker, so I wonder if this is actually going to look different than our previous best. This guy might actually be a little bit thicker than the 400 scoring one that we have in our lodge currently, and if that's the case, this guy will definitely replace him, and I think he's going to replace him regardless just because he does score so much higher. That is truly an awesome looking Roosevelt Elk. I really am excited that we found this thing. I don't know why, but I've had such an incredibly hard time trying to find a diamond for this last uh, gun right here, which that gun is the 303. But we finally have this guy here, and it looks like he might have caught my wind, so I definitely want to make sure we get him down soon. And in fact, the next time that he stops for us at a good angle, we'll take the shot on him. But he does look absolutely massive. The longer I look at him, the more I can tell that he's definitely thicker than the one that we have in our lodge. That's going to be an awesome trophy. However, he is going away. We need to try and get him to stop going away. That's not good. Need to alert him. Otherwise, he's going to be gone and we'll have to wait for him to come back. But I think this should be good right here. The second he goes broadside, we'll take the shot, and in fact, that should be good right there. He stopped just long enough for us to squeeze one into the lung. I'm almost positive we hit that shot. That is definitely vital blood. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go pick this guy up. I can't wait to see what he ends up scoring. I think that's got to be one of the highest scoring Roosevelt Elk I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that Kill Clinton got one roughly this size. I don't remember its exact score, but I know it was a decent bit over 400. But I haven't seen a ton of them posted that were more than like 4 or 10. I think the highest I've ever seen was like 413. So if this guy hits 410 or above, this guy will be a monster. He actually died in a pretty good spot too. We can get some awesome pictures of this guy. That is a crazy looking elk. That is a crazy one. He's definitely thicker than the one that we have. He definitely is. So that is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up and see what he scores. 413.30. What a giant. That is easily my biggest elk. 497.38 kgs. We tracked him for 258 meters after we took the shot, so he did run a decent bit. But that's kind of to be expected with the 303 since it is a bit on the lower end of guns you can use for Roosevelt Elk, or I guess lower end of what people would typically use in this game. But that is an absolute giant. I can't wait to take a look at this guy. What an awesome trophy. 
Well, here they are. Here is all of the trophies that we got during this video. It took quite a while to get the four different diamonds with different guns for this video here. A lot longer than the first one. I was having a lot of trouble finding diamonds and unfortunately a lot of them ended up being trolls when I would finally find some max level animals so it took even longer to get the ones that I needed but we finally did it we finally got four diamonds with four guns that we hadn't got a diamond with before and so that brings us to a total of eight guns and there's quite a few more left so we're just barely getting started with this series but we've already added some awesome trophies and this guy right here actually is going to be a permanent addition to the lodge we're going to replace the other one that we have that scores roughly the same and has the same rack shape because i do like this fur type better i think our old one is the black fur type but we have three of those with three different racks so i'd rather put this guy up here because this is the first dark spotted one that actually is decent size so he's going to go in here permanently and as far as this goat, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm thinking this might go in a different lodge just because we already have this horn shape. And the one that we have with this horn shape is the mixed one. So we'll probably keep him and put this guy somewhere else. And then this wolf right here is going to go in a multi-mount with one of our bison. I'm not sure which one yet. Probably the albino just because they look so cool and especially in a multi-mount. But I don't know what we're going to move. We'll probably have to take down one of those other multi-mounts. Most likely one of the red deer ones since we have quite a few of them. Or maybe something like this one. But we'll figure that out eventually. But this guy right here is easily our biggest Roosevelt elk. And we're actually going to take him into the other room real quickly to kind of compare him to our old one. So as you guys can see, this is the one that we just got. And he is much thicker than this guy. This was our 400 that we had I believe we got this guy shortly after they updated them to where the bigger racks could actually spawn in and this guy that we just got is way thicker than he is so this is definitely gonna be the new permanent addition to our lodge and this guy I'm not exactly sure we're either gonna put him somewhere else or just keep him here and put this guy in a multi mount I'm not quite sure yet but you guys will find out soon enough I'll probably do some kind of updated trophy lodge tour uh, within a month or two, I'm not exactly sure when, but I do want to get to that eventually. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This took quite a bit of time to make, so I would really appreciate it if you guys dropped a like down below or left a comment letting me know what your favorite trophy was out of this video or what guns you think I should do next. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!